connected and they failed. Okay, so yeah, I think it's right. about the connection. What connects you with that person mm -hmm. is what makes a relationship. So every me, I believe, as long as it's good vibes, mm -hmm. it's positiveness, you have like good intentions for each other, it's gonna last. And do you think it's easy to be in such a relationship whereby you are from a different, a, a, a one country, like yeah, I'm giving an example, you're from Uganda, and uh, the guys from maybe America, Netherlands, Sweden, let it be Nigeria, Kenya. Do you think it would have been good for you? <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Big Times. We are back, but today is another version. A uh, request has been coming in and uh, many of my friends have been requesting me, you know, I have many friends from different countries, have been requesting me, hey guys, why don't you start making uh, programs in English so that we can catch up with you. You always be there speaking in Uganda, Uganda. Of course, I'm proud of, uh, of my language and I'm proud of Uganda and I should fertilize my language first than any other thing. But anyway, ah, your request has been... So here we are now. I'm with my beautiful eggplant <laughs> besides me. <laughs> uh, my name is Tina, okay. as always. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for subscribing. Okay. Uh -huh, now, what's the topic today? Uh, the topic today is, is not going to be big. It's not going to be uh, mm -hmm. small. So we're going to be talking about uh, various things that will bring us together as one. So. Today we're gonna go this side of relationships, and I really, I really want to know, Tina, mm -hmm. why do people think that relationships mm -hmm. from, like people who date from different countries, mm -hmm. they don't normally come to like, they don't normally connect. As in, they don't connect. Like, if people, if people are in a relationship, first of all, it means they've connected. But they don't last, I mean, they don't succeed. Oh, they don't last. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, first, there are various things as to why people fall, in, fall into, go into a relationship. Like, but first of all, do you think they succeed? Or? I think, to some extent, some do. Mm -hmm. To some extent, some don't. Because, like I was telling you, there are various reasons mm -hmm. as to why people mm -hmm. go into relationships. You understand? Mm -hmm. So uh, you'll find someone, for example, let's say a girl is here. Uh, she wants to, to get a, a white man okay. to go maybe, maybe to go to Europe. Okay. And her reason for falling for that man and is to go, go to, to Europe. Europe. Okay. So if it was not love in the first place, there is no way it's going to last. Because the intention was not to fall in love. The intention was to, to go, go to Europe. Europe. That means if that kind of person goes to Europe, they will find other people, or maybe the, their mind will change. They They'll will find where they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was the intention. So I think relationships do last, because I've seen people who have lasted hmm. with other nationalities, why not you, uh, who don't come from the same country, but they've lasted. They've had kids together, mm -hmm. they've had, um, they've, they've spent their lives together. So. I think you have to know as to why you're falling into, you're falling for someone, why you're going into that relationship. I've seen my friends, I've had relationships with other people from other nationalities, and they've been there. Some have, some have lasted, some didn't. <laughs> I have a question for you. You as your person, as Tina, I know. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried such a relationship? A relationship? Having someone from a different country. Yeah. And how did it go? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I've tried <laughs> someone from another country, another okay. nationality. Okay. But I think, like I was telling you, it was it was just love. Okay, like, have you ever seen or been close to someone dating a person from a different country? Yeah. How did it go and how do you see your, you see the relationship from your view? Like I me, I think. Any relationship, it's not about nationality. It's about how you feel for each other. How you get connected. Yeah, that how person. you connect how with you, this person. Yes. How you feel about this person. That's what makes the relationship last, or that's what makes it fail. 
You understand? So I don't think it's because of nationalities, because we've seen people from other nationalities lasting, and we've seen people from the same and nationality who you think should have lasted and they failed. Yeah, so I think right. it's about the connection. What connects you with that person mm -hmm. is what makes a relationship. So every me, I believe, as long as it's good vibes, mm -hmm. it's positiveness, you have like good intentions for each other, it's gonna last. And do you think it's easy to be in such a relationship whereby you are from a different, uh, 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 one country, like yeah, I'm giving an example, you're from Uganda, and uh, the guys from maybe America, Netherlands, Sweden, let it be Nigeria, Kenya. Do you think it would have been good for you? <laughs> good for me? Actually, it depends. Like, um, oh, I get your question. You think, you, you're trying to ask me how I think about it. Mm -hmm. Is it very easy or it's it a smooth way? It depends. It cannot be easy, like very easy. I wouldn't say it can be so easy. I think because first of all, you have a, you have different. For 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 the Westerners, it's easy because I think they can they eat fast foods. But then for these fair Africans, I would say, for example, let's say Kenyans, let's say Nigerians, I think it's a little bit hard because you mostly when you speak a different language, it's hard. Like you have to learn their language. Then second, second, uh, I think the food. Mm -hmm. Getting used to the food they eat. Mm -hmm. uh, the food you maybe. Used to eat yomato okay, with the tamkene side, mm -hmm. side. So you may find they don't eat there. matoke and mokene, yeah. so you have to learn to cook and fit into them. So I think it's not a small thing. It's way. not a small thing. Yeah, but, but, but I believe if you two are connecting and you two love each other, let me tell you, love. Love is a very good thing. Love is greater than everything. Even if it's just two of you, you can be it can be two of you again, it's all everyone. Yeah. As long as you two, me what I emphasize in any relationship, be it the same nationality, be it different nationality, is understanding each other. As long as you understand each other, the relationship will last. So as long as you don't understand each other, these other things can, these can other wait. things can, no, 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 like, 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 let's say culture. Because uh, what I know that there are cultures and, uh, uh, you know, we bump into people we don't know and you mm -hmm. end up uh, finding like the character he or she uh, breathes in is very, very weird, I may say, I'm sorry mm -hmm. to say that. So, in case that uh, kind, kind of a situation happens to you and you feel like you are really, really in love with this person, ah. what are you going to do? And would you advise people to get, uh, like, to fall in love with it, uh, different countries? Like, you are not from that same country, but you fall in love with another person. I want to emphasize about culture. You know me, I believe so much in culture. And I and I respect our cultures, but, <laughs> okay, there are people that don't have serious cultures. Like, let's say, I've not had like Westerners, like people from from West, from the, um, the Eastern world, I don't know if it's the West or it's the East. Let's say people from America, the UK, Canada, those things. I don't Netherlands, know if they have those, those cultures they do. that are really they weird. Do. They do, they do. But I know Africans mm. do have weird cultures. Not even Africans from other countries, even in Uganda. I had, I had one time, uh, my friends were talking, and one of them said they went, to, they went for a burial in eastern Uganda. And uh, there, their culture is, when your husband dies, you have to, you have to, to sleep. You have to sleep near the corpse, like you. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I've been 20, how old I am? 23, right? I don't know, 23? I've been a Ugandan for that. No, 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 I've heard this in Eastern Uganda. I'm, I'm not sure I don't want to attack any culture or something, because mm. I don't know which culture, but I heard my friend saying there's a culture in the East where when your man dies, you're supposed mm. to sleep there. That's not in Uganda, I think. It's there, was in Eastern Uganda. It was he, he or she? She. She was lying to you. 
that's so, not that's, mm, that's just not in Uganda. No, I don't want to say they were lying because she was there and I was not <laughs> there, and she was speaking what she saw. Mm, mm, mm. So I cannot say Maybe she was she lying. Was but else. okay, okay, if she was lying or it was true, whatever. But such a culture to me it would be very hard. Mm. Even if I love you, Yo. I don't see myself sleeping with you when you're dead. <laughs> I'm telling you. So, so before you go into okay. something, you have to know, you am I to going to manage sense. this relationship? Yeah. Am I going to, to cope up with their, with their norms, their culture, without disrespecting them? Mm -hmm. You understand? So, so I think when you get to know all these things, your relationship can work out. Mm -hmm. If you, you work, feel yeah. it's too much for you, just walk away. Like I've told you, to me, like what that girl was saying, was talking about that culture and what they do, I don't see myself doing it. So I cannot stay with such a man. So, <laughs> so, so it's not about, um, I think it's not about countries, but it's about how you feel. How you feel? How about do you feel someone. about someone? How do you guys connect? If you're connecting well, if the love is there, if he's treating you good, or she's treating you good, why not? But me, since I, I, I believe in diversity, I love to see people connecting from different countries, or I love to see uh, people experiencing new uh, things. I mean, uh, I would love to see you, Tina, getting married to a Nigerian. <laughs> Yeah, I would love to say that. I'd love to see a Kenyan getting married to a Ugandan. I'd mm. love to see a Ugandan getting mar married to a America, to Switzerland, Netherlands. Mm. I'd love to see that. To know that difference between these two people. You know, uh, in, in, my, in, in Uganda we have a saying that says, I'm such a one, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I'd be wanting to know. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'd be wanting to know if... That same man who stays in America, who stays in Netherlands, is the same one who stays in what? Mm. Uganda, right? Mm -hmm. So that pushes me to love people who come together, like from different countries, and they make one, they, they unite and become one. Mm -hmm. So if me, uh, by any possible way, uh, someone comes across me, and even though he's not from my country, I feel like, okay, about what you said uh, concerning the character that uh, if someone comes in that um, like having such a character you cannot go with them that's true mm -hmm. and if, if, if it's me also I cannot go with you but I would love to go with someone of not my same country to see how things work on their side which is okay which is okay me I don't have a problem with that but for me I don't think, anyway, I don't know what will happen in the future, but for now, I'm okay where I am. So, I don't see myself, <laughs> like seriously, I don't see myself. Why would you even say that? No, I'm telling you. Okay no, right, yeah, yeah. I, right now I'm okay, because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah, Maybe sure. tomorrow I'll be somewhere else, no, but for now, be somewhere else yeah, but for now I'm okay where I am, so, but when I see other people falling in love, you know, it's a decision, it's a feeling. If that person yeah. makes you feel good, mm -hmm. go with them. Go and see, go and explore, go and, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I don't have a problem. Mm -hmm. You understand? And if it fails, find another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. No, like, like people hurt us so much, so don't stick into. May I Something had a thinking like that, that um, may I had a thinking that I don't know if it was childish or what, but I had a thinking knowing that uh, white men doesn't hurt like black men. No, I, I cannot justify that, but what I can say, if they didn't hurt people, I've seen white men ha getting divorced. Yeah, getting but divorced they are white. Yeah, whatever. That means whatever makes them get a divorce, that must can have been something. Divorce, uh, can make you divorce mm -hmm. him too. So, but there is, you see Tina, there is uh, some uh, uh, things you can tolerate with when a white lady can. You understand? So, if a man is having young, he's a white, 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, let me give a quick example. We, Ugandan, as you say, as with Nigeria, uh, ladies from Nigeria complain to me that we are taking them. <laughs> I don't know how, uh, how true is that. But they complain to me, hey, Ugandan girl, what are, what are you giving to our men? Please don't take our men. Something like that. So um, I think there is that thing. I, uh, 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 a Nigerian man can, me, I can tolerate with in a Nigerian think, man that a Nigerian lady can. Do you believe that? I do. I think Ugandans are soft. They are somehow soft. You know, I'm not saying that Nigerians are known, but most of how they talk, like their voices, you know, their voices are a little bit high, and you know. But they you know, do you know that? The Those who, people, the they men, are so sweet. If you get close to them, mm-hmm. I really like Nigerians. If you mm-hmm. see them from a distance, you reject them. But once you get close to them, they are so. No, nice. that's the problem with social society. Society judges everyone according to what they see. When they see them talking like papa 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 papa, they they think they don't fall in love. But they do. But me, I'll stick to one thing. When you understand someone mm. and you love them and you're okay, regardless of where they come from, my dear, enjoy life. We only live once. Life is too short. <laughs> and since Valentine is in the corner, you have to secure someone. <laughs> Valentine is coming. Where is your boyfriend? Yeah, you have to secure <laughs> someone. Don't, don't so mind. So guys, until where, next time. Yeah, where that person is coming from, just... Yeah. Love your person and then everything will be okay. Until next time, guys. See we you. We love you so much. Sign up.